So today I'm playing Outland, which uh, got released for Linux back in February, but uh, I bought this week because it's part of the Steam weekly sale. So uh, I was playing it a bit last night. Uh, see if I can remember how to do it. Right. So it's controller, control sport, A to jump. X to attack, and the attacks uh, depend on the stick movement. And you can also change your essence, uh, which which is part of the puzzle solving for what you uh, get to interact with. Oh, a so, so there's some uh, game elements. That are, will be the colour, that are, you know, red or blue. You can only interact with those game elements when you're when you're the red or the blue colour. Now I think I'm now heading towards a boss fight, which might not be the uh, best place to start. Right. The hero's journey ended. Ancient spirits release their grasp, and you awake just a man. Surely it was a dream. Sorry. Oopsie. So, now I'm confused. Where am I going to? I need to get over there. So let's do that. Dark spirit required. Alright, so this glistening stuff tends to indicate where you're supposed to go. Hopefully, any minute now, we'll get to a uh, puzzle of some kind. Now, I'm suspecting they're going to attack me or something. Alright, so bad guys. Now, these are bad guys that are just, uh, just gold. So you can attack them at any point. Oh. Conveniently, I'm getting a kernel error popping up in the corner there, don't worry about that. Oh. I totally missed him. Something that I don't want to get into. I'm going to go back down and kill this guy. That's what I'm going to do. Ah. Oopsie. Now with the jumping, there is a, uh, a lack of friction when you land. Get my health back. So, you have to see how I skidded as I landed there. Which is quite tricky to get a hang of what I found. Spikes, we've got to avoid them as well. The coins, I think, let you buy upgrades of some kind. You notice that I can't pick up the, um, I can't pick up the health when I'm at full health. Looks like I'm heading down. Oops. Oopsie. 
Where did my health go? Oh, well, that's nasty. And we're avoiding them. Ooh, big coins. Some health, handy. Now, I've not figured out what the coins are for, other than just collecting at the minute. Perhaps they're for something. I don't know. Oh, there's an eye there, so there's another bad guy up there. Look. But I've now unlocked the gate, which is handy. some health. So now I just need to get back up to uh, where I was before. So this is how the game sort of works. In, is, um, there's uh, jumping puzzles, there's unlocks, it's mostly seen to be about discovery. It's a very distinct art style, which I actually, you know, I quite like the art style actually. Uh, we might get to some of these, some of these different coloured puzzles at some point. Oh, it's been high under there. And there's a uh, oh, oh, interesting secret area. I'm nearly dead now. Let's try not to die. Oh, that's some health. Good man. Now you only get the three health. But when you die, you more or less go back to... Uh, you more or less go back to where you, where you where you're left. Right. So how do I get onto that thing? Maybe I need to jump up here. Up here and across, I see. Oopsie. Oopsie. Ah. Right, let's try that again. There we go. Alright, so the next question is how do I get across to that? Okay. Up and down again. See, let's try that then. I want that little rotating helmet thing. Oh, there we go. I want my extra health back. I'm going to leave the coin. So this seems a more straightforward jump. Let's go up there. There we go. I've activated the checkpoint. Right. Lots of bad guys. Let's go and get that one. Carrying on at this point, on the off chance that that will get to some of the some of the uh, puzzles that require you to. Oh dear! Some of the colours require you to change up. I'm doing oh, not bits. Pay attention. Some of the puzzles that require you, oopsie, to uh, have a different phase or whatever it is. Right. 
Okay. Well, I think maybe that was just the end of the last level, perhaps. Two things to deal with. There we go. Oh, oh dear. Oh, it's going badly, isn't it? If I come to a death here, and I'll just leave it at that. I think you've uh, basically seen most of the game. I like how the bloke, he sort of does look a bit crippled after you've... Uh, after you've... Um, after he's got injured. He's sort of leaning over there. more health. Good for me. Yeah, all right, can't go then. Okay. Ah. Go on. More health. Oh, donate. Do that then. I'm upgraded to four hearts. Amazing. And uh, restored to health as a result. And we open a door. So there you go. That's, uh, that's more or less what the game is about. Jumping, jumping and slicing and you can do these little skiddy things to get through little gaps, which we've not already had the opportunity to do at this point. Uh, I've quite enjoyed it so far. I've only played it, you know, 45 minutes or so. But uh, currently on Steam, less than two quid. Native Linux game, bit of a bargain, I would say. Uh, snap it up this week.